In this video, I'm just going to show a very simple way to do a basic cleaning of a semi-automatic pistol. This is the type of cleaning you would do, say, after taking your gun to the range a few times for target practicing, or if it's just been a few months since the gun's been out, you might want to give it a basic cleaning. A lot of people moan about having to clean their guns, but they may just be making it more difficult than it actually needs to be. It's a pretty simple process, so I'm just going to show you the way I do it. There are certainly plenty of ways to do this. This is just my way, but it is a way that's worked for me for a very long time with many different types of pistols. The products I'm going to be using have been around a long time. This is just the Hoppies Number no. 9 Gun Cleaner, at least I call it, pronounce it Hoppies, and the Hoppies Number no. 9 Lubricating Oil. Some cleaning patches in the caliber of your gun, in this case 9mm. A bore brush for the barrel, also in your caliber, cleaning rod and a cleaning jag in your caliber, and some rods don't come with a jag, yours may have an attachment like this, which can also be used to push patches through, but I like a jag whenever possible. Now the disassembly for cleaning is different on every model of firearm, so I'm going to leave that to your instruction manual to teach you. I'll just quickly disassemble this Glock pistol, first making sure it's unloaded. Remove the magazine. Make sure you have a clear, empty firing chamber, which I now do. And without going into instruction in this video, I'll just take the gun apart. If you do own a Glock pistol like this, you can look at my video called Complete Glock Disassembly for more details on how to disassemble a Glock. Now this taken apart, for the magazine, there's really never much you need to do at all with this. If you do see any carbon or fouling, just wipe it away with a dry cloth, but that's really about it for the magazine. So I'll set that aside now. The barrel I'm going to start on, and what I'm going to do is take a cleaning patch, and I'm going to get some of this solvent on the patch. Just wet the whole thing. And you'll notice I have a towel laid down here and folded over to give me something to keep these products off my table. Lay the solvent soaked patch on here, and I'm just gonna push it once through the barrel, and all I'm doing by doing that for now is just really wetting the inside of the barrel. This gun was taken out shooting today, and you notice with modern gunpowder, it really doesn't get too dirty. But now what I've done is I've wet the inside of that barrel with solvent, and I'm just going to set it aside for a moment. I'll wipe some of that solvent off my hands. Next, I'll take the frame and just a toothbrush. You can spend more money on actual gun cleaning brushes, but I get these by the half dozen for about one dollar at Walmart, so that's what I recommend. And now for the frame, no solvent or oil, I just simply take the brush and just brush it down all over that metal. That's going to brush away any loose carbon and lint. This is the gun that I carry on my belt every day, so you do get some lint from clothing and other things. But that just brushes away very easily, and I do make sure to get underneath the rails that the slide operates on. You not really anything scientific about it, just down into the little openings and just brush away the carbon. You might not even get every last bit of carbon and fouling off of it, but that's really okay. With modern gunpowder, it's non-corrosive. If you really want to clean it till it shines, you can, but for your regular basic cleanings, it's really not necessary. Like I say, most people put a lot more work into this than they need to and make it harder than it needs to be. So the frame is really good for now. Next thing I'm going to do is take my slide. On the outside of the slide, not really much at all that needs to be done except right up around the front. I don't know if you can see well on camera, but there is some, uh, some fouling, some carbon built up from the gun firing. I'll just take a dry patch, just wipe the front of that, and you'll see it coming off onto the patch here. Really not even using any solvent, just wipes off. If you do add solvent, what I've found is you can actually make more of a mess because it wets that carbon and other things and just makes a mess, but when you just wipe it off dry, it's nice and easy. Work it down into this hole where the barrel will protrude from and where the recoil spring will go. Grab another patch, do the same thing just down inside the slide here. There will be a little bit of carbon, as you can see on the patch, but just an easy once over is really enough. I've seen people teach ways that are much more labor intensive, but my guns fire as good as theirs, to be honest, and this is how I always do it. Then I'm going to take a Q-tip, and right down in here, you'll have a lot of carbon built up. In fact, so much, before I take the Q-tip, take the brush and just brush away the bulk of that out of there. No particular technique, just brush it away. 
and my uh, I will take the q-tip now and just get where the brush might not reach just down into the corners You'll see it coming out black get some of that residue and fouling from the powder take another one and again if you don't get every last speck of it off not the end of the world with this modern materials that are used in ammunition don't need to make it difficult and again you'll notice I'm just doing this dry I'm not putting solvent down in here at all just wipes away corners now I'm going to take my brush right up here where we'll meet the back of the firing chamber behind the uh, ejector especially just brush in those corners again no real technique just brush it out making sure even to get in the little grooves that the slide rails will go on but just nice and quick not a lot of work at all take a patch and just run using my fingernail to push through the patch and just get inside pull this carbon up out of the slide rails but, uh, push same on that side and just pull it out like that not a lot to it pretty easy to get that to where it's looking pretty nice now put the dirty stuff aside these recoil springs really not much that needs to happen there might just take a brush and just brush away any loose debris that might be hanging around on it but that's about it I don't put any oil on that no solvent never have and they've lasted me just as long as anybody else's have so that's all I need to do for the spring so the slides about done except for the oil which will do very last frames done except for oil do very last back to the barrel which is now wet on the inside first thing I'm going to do is wipe the outside with a dry patch get the old gun oil off from the last time it was cleaned whenever that was it's actually been a couple of months or more for this gun and I'll even push into the muzzle here and you'll see a ring appear after that getting all that carbon out of there now with the inside of the bore nice and wet with solvent I'll take off my jag switch to the wire brush in nine millimeter and I'm going to push it through one two three four five that's usually enough let's go ten six seven eight nine ten I'm using jacketed bullets when I shoot copper jackets not bare lead so we're not getting any leading in the barrel just getting rid of any carbon and fouling that might be in there now I'll take some clean patches switch back from my brush to my jag and I hope this over the shoulder view I'm giving you is helpful for following along. You might need to watch this video a couple times. Now I'm just going to push these clean patches through. See the dirt now that the solvent works that fouling loose and carbon loose. And all that's left with the barrel, we'll just push these through till it's clean. I'm not even adding solvent anymore. I just used the solvent on that first one to get it wet, that's all. Let's continue. It's already a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and recycle these cleaner patches. Push the dirty side inside and clean side outside this time. This rod likes to work itself loose a little. Just continue on. That's getting pretty good. I've seen people clean their guns. It takes forever because they use so much solvent, but if you just wet it with solvent and brush it out see it doesn't take long to have a nice clean barrel so that's really all I need to do for the outside or pardon me the inside of the barrel in the bore then I'll take just a little bit of solvent I won't completely soak this patch like I did the other one I'll just wipe the outside of the barrel won't see much coming off on there it doesn't get too dirty but it will be dirty back here at the breech the opening of the firing chamber you'll notice if I wipe this Pretty filthy, but doesn't take much effort to get it off. Just wipe it away, I'm using my fingernails to get all the little corners as I push through this patch. Anything. That's where you get the bulk of your mess, is here at the back. And 
I'm going to take a clean one, now that it's nice and wet, and just start wiping that away. Again, yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. All right, that's looking pretty clean now. I'm going to call that satisfied, and then I'm just going to push it down into this little groove where it rides on the ro uh, locking block of the frame when it operates. And I'll just wipe the whole thing dry now. There's one more get to get it dry. All right. Last thing we need to do is just oil the gun now. So the way I do that, I'll start with the slide. A couple ways you can do this. Some people just put the oil here on the slide rails. Others put it inside the groove. Either way, you're oiling the same parts. So what I'll do this time is I'll take the oil, and I'm going to drop one drop of oil in the end of this groove. I can steady myself there. Got a drop in there. One on the other side, too. And I'm going to stand that up like this but for this because the towels there I'll just do it over here on the wood table I'm not sure if you can still see that in the camera but it's just standing letting that oil run down through the groove then for the barrel I'll take one drop of oil and drop it down inside this groove here so that when the gun rides on the locking block that's nice and lubricated you can also use gun grease which I have used in the past also I do it either way just wipe the excess oil that ran out the sides just leaving just enough to have a nice oil coating down inside there. Then, what I'm going to do, take my finger. If you don't want the oil on your finger, you could use a patch, but this is just what I've always done. It is, a, it is an oil, so be careful and do wash up thoroughly. And I'll just wipe the outside of the barrel like this, get a little oil on there. Don't even have to go all the way down. And you can see the wear marks from when your gun operates, so I have wear marks from the end to about right there. So that's all that needs to be oiled is from about right here up to the muzzle. There's no metal on metal contact back behind that, so that's really enough. Then dry patch, I won't wipe hard, but just very loosely just get the excess. I just need a thin coating of oil right there. Then, see how these drops are doing. They're still working their way. Hard to see on camera, but I've got oil down to about right here now. So just let that sit just a little longer. I'll get just a little bit more oil and also just touch a little bit to each one of these rails. Not much at all, just enough for a thin, light coating because that's where we have a lot of metal on metal contact. I'm not going to put any oil anywhere else on the frame, just on my rails. So the frame's got its oil, barrel's got its oil, spring doesn't need any oil, slide, the oil has worked its way almost to the bottom now, so I'll take a patch and down here towards the bottom where the fronts of that drop are, just make sure there's no excess oil built up. And one more place I want to touch just a little bit of oil. It's right down inside the slide. You can see where it's shiny. That's where it rubs on top of the firing chamber. So that's another metal on metal point. So I'll just take a drop of oil, let it fall right on that metal. And then I'll take a Q-tip that oil and just smear that oil back and forth and run it down wherever it's shiny in there. The shiny means it's got metal on metal contact. And I'm doing my best to let you see that on camera, but I just worked the oil from about here to here where it rubs on metal. Rub it back and forth, just leaving a nice smooth coating. And the Q tip is picking up any excess as it goes. So I've left a thin coating of oil there. So now all that's really left to do is reassemble the gun. So I put the barrel back in, recoil spring, put it back on the frame, and you're finished. Maybe just take a patch and wipe any excess oil off that got on there. And that's it, folks. Just takes a few minutes to thoroughly clean a handgun. Thanks so much for watching.